Yep. I did. I went and voted for my president. Thank y'all for stopping by this morning. It's uh, chilly in the 40s here today. And uh, as you can see, I've got my, my ball cap on. Because <laughs> uh, it don't take long for that to get cold. But uh, anyway... We've had a cold front, big cold front move through. It was in the almost 90 here one day this week. We had a big cold front move through. I think it was down in the low 40s this morning. And uh, we got up, went and voted, early voted. I encourage you to go vote. Uh, I was the first one in line, and there were about 50 behind me and my wife. So uh, we got there 15 minutes early, and uh, there was already a line. So we were pretty lucky pretty fortunate to get through but anyway it's cooled off it's time to uh fire up the hot tub and uh y'all don't know i was in the swimming pool business for a few years three or four years and and uh, i've gotten out of it now but uh one of the best ways we had to make money was do a drain and clean on a hot tub I'm going to show you how to save yourself between $100 to $150 this morning by doing this yourself. We closed ours down. We always close it down uh, in the in the summer, and uh, we don't use it after it starts warming up. Probably 1st of May, we close it down and, and drain it. And uh, I'm going to show you how to clean it this morning, how to fire it back up, and what to put in it. Maybe it'll help you out a little bit if you've got a hot tub. If you don't, you ought to have one. Let's go do it. Now don't go hating on the old girl because she's pretty rough but this was a, a hot tub the customer called and wanted to uh, just wanted a new tub this one had some problems had a few problems in it and electronics and I fixed it and uh, as you can see it were do a cover but uh, I built this this carriage and uh, I'll show you how that works in a minute, but you can see how I did that. And uh, but there's not anything wrong with this hot tub. I'll show you how this works. You can see it's pretty yucky, and uh, we got to we got to clean it out. But let me show you how this this carrier works. Move this chair. Sorry about that. But uh, you open that up, grab this lid, and it pops back. Saves you lots of trouble. That's Schedule 80 uh, PVC, and uh, it's pretty sturdy. But that's, uh, and you can see we're going to have to have a new, hot, a new cover here for too long. It's okay. It'll work. It'll work for a while. Look here. Here's my little buddy. He uh, he lives here, and uh, he likes it here. <clears throat> but today's eviction day, and uh, I don't think he's going to like that very well. So let me go get the stuff together, and we'll uh, we'll show you how to drain this thing, clean it out, and uh, fill it back up, and get it ready to go. All right, let's take a look at what you'll need. We like to use the orange clean. This is heavy duty citrus degreaser. We have found that this works about as good as anything on a, on a hot tub. Uh, it cuts the grime and the grease and all that kind of stuff because a lot of these hot tubs, when we'd go clean them, they'd had people in there and they'd had all these lotions and oils that they put on and they, had, they got this stuff that flavors the water, and they got this stuff that makes the water smell good, and it's all kind of greasy. But this stuff right here doesn't have to be the Zep. It can be any of your citrus degreaser. This stuff will cut it, and it's not a big mess cleaning up. If you use, like, dishwashing liquid or something like that, you're never going to get it out of there. So this is, this is what we use to clean. Of course, you need a towel, a water hose, that type of thing. The next thing you're going to need... To save yourself from getting soaking wet is one of these. It's a soft bristle car wash brush. 
You can get these at the hardware store, the automotive store. It's got a pole on it. You can see, it's got a pole on it, and this pole is adjustable. You can adjust it out. Unless you just want to get in there and scrub and reach around and get wet, uh, I would recommend go get one of these. I think this. I think I gave twelve or thirteen dollars for this one. Hooks into your water hose if you want to use it for your car or whatever, and it's got a little shut off for that. You don't even need to hook it into your water hose. We're going to do that. Of course, you'll need some towels, stuff like that. And you're going to need a shop vac. You have to have a shop vac without a filter in it. Because you're going to have to get down there and get all the water out of these these spots. Uh, or you'll never, you'll never get them out. Uh, so that's what you need. Let's get started. All right, first thing we want to do, this is a spa frog. I highly recommend these. These are minerals, and uh, this is your bromine cartridge, and this is a mineral cartridge. And uh, I didn't don't have any of this put in there yet, but we'll we'll show you that. But the first thing you want to do is remove your filters. The doors off of this one are usually hid behind a door. These filters are in pretty good shape. I'll probably reuse those again. But you want to take those filters out, and they just screw out most of them. And uh, you want to get those out. And uh, get any trash that's down in there, little limbs and leaves, that kind of stuff. All right, let's get started. And since we're just washing, you can use this water that's in here. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go around here. We're going to take our orange spray, hopefully. You'll notice this tub is discolored. You can see this white. The lady we got this from, and this is the, this happens with most people with their hot tub, is the answer, swimming pool same way, the answer to all your problems, they believe, is chlorine. So what we do is we, our water gets kind of funky, and instead of balancing our water out, what do we do? We'll get the chlorine and we put the chlorine in it and we keep adding the chlorine. That shows you the power. You can see that white around this hot tub. They burnt the, they put so much chlorine in here that it's actually burnt this finish and this color out of this hot tub. Doesn't affect the, the uh, performance any other than the fact that we had to replace some stuff when we got it. But that's a that's another for another video but basically all you're going to do is take this brush that you got and you can stretch this thing out make it as long as you need to where you don't get wet you can see the dirt already coming off of that and basically what we're going to do here is we're going to take this whole hot tub and we're going to scrub it down real good. We're going to do that all the way around. And when I get done with that, I'll show you how to start filling it and that type of thing. Help, I had a battery to go out on me, so... I'm going to show you this again. This is the control system. And if you'll notice, let me get you over here close. You see those unions right there? There. And over there. When you drain and clean a hot tub, you want to crack those unions. Not only to drain the water. But that right there, that little unit right there will cost you four or five hundred bucks if you have one of those installed. And what people will do when they drain their hot tub is they forget this plumbing down here. And this is the very bottom. This is where you're pumped. This is your, your water goes through here and heats. This is your heat and control system. Your pumps are off both sides over here. And if you leave that water in there, especially here, it's going to freeze and bust. And so you want to be sure and crack those drains, and that's what we've done here. That's what I've done when I drain cleaned it. And if you'll notice, there's a rubber seal in there. And you want to be sure to get that rubber seal in there, make sure it's in there when you put this back together. 
or it's going to leak like a sieve. And uh, basically all you do is just pull this up and then tighten this back down once you make sure the seals are in there. Our little friend just moved in here, our little frog, he's in here too. So just, just wanted to give you that heads up, but uh, when you when you put when you when you shut one down, be sure and, and undo these undo these uh, unions here to make it drain. Just to save you save you several hundred dollars. All right, what I'm about to show you is the most important thing about refilling a hot tub. We've got it all wiped down. When you fill a hot tub, right here is where you want to start. This is how you want to refill your hot tub. And let me tell you why. I can't tell you how many service calls I went on. A $90, $100 service call, and some more than that when they're way out of town. And people say, we cleaned our hot tub out, we, started re we refilled it, and we started it back up, and the pump won't work. Airlock is what it's called. That's why you want to start right here when you start refilling your hot tub. You can see down there, that it's coming in through the bottom. If you start down there, instead of here, filling it, and you want to leave it right here, you want to fill it from right here. Don't don't fill it from the bottom. Fill it from right here, because what will happen is, is air will get into your lock down there, and it will air lock from both directions, and you'll get air in there, and your pump won't circulate the water. And, you, and a lot of times, sometimes even you'll burn your pump up, you'll burn your heating element up. So do not fill from down there. Fill from right here. That's the biggest thing I can tell you. That's the most important thing I can tell you. So remember that. Everything's working, the water looks a little funky, but it always does when you start, or most of the time. Let me show you a little something that'll finish this off. To get your chemicals right, this is what I always start with. Small frog jump start. And what this does is get your chemicals balanced right off the bat and it removes all your organic contaminants and stuff like that. If your water's a little muddy or green or whatever, it'll, uh, it'll clean it up pretty quick. But this will get your pH and everything balanced out real quick. So that kind of gives you an idea. You can buy these on, on Amazon if you want. Our uh, pool supply stores got them, I think. But uh, that's basically it. That's how you clean it up. And uh, how you how you get one started back up so uh, probably in about two hours we'll be at 102 degrees and we'll be ready to get in this thing uh, so thank y'all for watching appreciate you subscribing and liking the videos and share these hope this helps somebody out and uh, this right here will save you a buck or two see you next time